God can be stern and punishing and get angry if he has to, to save us, to redeem us. But this, this, this strictness, this severity, it's for a moment. It's temporal. Scripture says God's love endures forever. God is love. And I was listening to a talk exactly on this top. Someone sent it to me. Maybe it was one of you. Um, where the, te- uh, the, 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 the scripture scholar was, was talking about this very thing. And he gave an example. He said he, he has, uh, or when his son was three years old, they lived out in the country at the end of a gravel road. So there was no traffic. He never had to ter- uh, teach his son to look both ways before crossing the road. And then they moved into town And he quickly had to teach his three-year-old son the basics about crossing the road. Look left, look right, look both ways before you cross the road. And then he said they were playing in the front lawn and the ball rolled out into the road. So he watched to see what his son would do. And sure enough, his son, without looking left or right, just walked out into the middle of the road. Now his, his, his dad, he looked both sides. He saw there was no cars coming. But he knew he had to make this a clear teaching moment. So he used a very stern, angry voice and loudly called out his son's name using first name, Middle name, last name. Uh, <laughs> I forget the name, but maybe put your own name into that. Imagine God the Father. Like you're doing something that could be dangerous, fatal. You know, in my case, it would be God the Father saying, Mark Joseph Goring. You know, put your own name in there. You know, imagine God the Father having to, to say that too. But the, the, the scripture scholar was saying, I wasn't angry at all. I mean, I love my son beyond all telling. But in this moment, I had to (laughs) show some severity. It had to be clear to my son, this isn't a joke. And because I love you, oh, you better bet, you better believe you'll see some of your dad's severity. Because I don't want you to get hit by a car. You know, and so again, this is this is so key. And when we when we read scripture, I mean, I could spend all morning just the, the the scriptures we just read this morning, the psalm, the first reading, the gospel. I mean, God loves us infinitely. He is love. His love endures forever, from everlasting to everlasting. But again, to save us, to redeem us, He can for a moment. In a temporal way, he can be severe, strict, punishing, and all that. And so, you know, it's just so important for us. The whole point of this is the Lord Jesus, he wants us to know and enter into the Father's love. And as I've said before, God will lavish us with his love even as we struggle. We're all struggling, <laughs> you know, like he, he gets that. We're all a work in progress. And, and, and so... Um, you know, some people think, well, because I'm not perfect, God is strict and severe with me all the time. No, he's not. God is, God is lavish to his children. And again, you parents, just think of your own children. I mean, your children aren't perfect. They struggle. You still love them up all the time, you know. But if they start going down a path that, ooh, that's bad, like that is serious, you know, then, then you, you know, I'm sure as parents, you, you can show that, that loving severity and, you know, out, out, of, out of love for your children. So today... Just let the Father love you. If you have sins that you feel bad about, just tell him you're sorry. Repent. He'll forgive you. He'll wash away your sins. And, and, and he'll fill you once again with his everlasting love.